too, and we are looking ahead uh, to when both Alzheimer's Awareness and National Family Caregivers Month kick off. Each tradition happens every November, and on November 2nd, a forum will happen at Howard University to shine a light on African American caregivers and their role in fighting off Alzheimer's. And joining us now to tell us more about this event and the initiative is registered nurse and Old Dominion University professor Ethlyn Gibson. It's so nice uh, to see you. Good morning. Thanks for joining us. Good morning. First of all, let's start with this event at Howard on November 2nd. Who's invited um, and what will they learn when they're there? Actually, um, the entire community um, is invited. We are holding it um, on the campus of the historically black college, Howard University, who's celebrating their 100th um, anniversary because this is community engaged um, education. So we want to bring together um, the community from Maryland, from the District of Columbia and also from Virginia, because we know that that's where the community learns best. Um, we know that Alzheimer's has affected um, everyone in our community, but it has um, it, it has impacted African Americans and communities of color more adversely. Hmm. But if we look at the statistics for Prince George's County, um, they have ranked fourth in the nation. Um, and 16% of the population of people there, um, 65 and older, are impacted by Alzheimer's. So definitely we want to see everyone um, there. And then we know um, that when we look at this being National Caregivers Month, um, more than 11 million Americans are serving as caregivers. So you might be an aunt, you might be an uncle, you might be a young person. So we want you also to come out. You know, in the moments we have together, uh, why is education and support so important for the families uh, and the caregivers of people with Alzheimer's? And what do we need to learn about Alzheimer's too? What we need to learn is that you are not alone. So on that day, we will actually be showing a film that's called Remember Me. And in that film, we are going to showcase that it's the average person who's at home struggling, trying to care for that family, for that family member. And we have resources like the Alzheimer's Association who has free resources that are available and many in the community are not tapping into those resources. So we will have a health fair that will start out from 9.30 until, um, until 11 a.m. And then the film will be shown that was shown actually at the Essence Film Festival, but we are bringing it to the District of Columbia. And then after that, we will have the chief diversity officer from the Alzheimer's Association. We will actually have researchers that are there. We will actually have um, the nurses from the Black Nurse Collaborative that will be there doing some screening. We will have free um, services that many in the community do not know that are available home health services will be there. So we want everyone to come out and know that we have things in our community that we want you to tap into so that you don't have to be a caregiver and feel that you are alone. And you're alone, all right. Um, Ethlyn, we're out of time, but really quickly, how do people register for the weekend's event on November 2nd? Actually, people can actually call um, the National Capital Area Alzheimer's Association. They can also call 757. 775-2484 or also um, we will um, you can go to the Eventbrite site and you okay. can actually look um, for um, the African American Caregivers um, Forum at Howard University and you can also find our flyer um, that's there and we look forward to seeing you on November 2nd. It's only going to be for three hours so you can still come out and still make it to the football game after that. Oh, hilarious. All right, I'll be there as well. Ethlyn, thank you so much. An important issue, 6.7 million Americans last year uh, living with Alzheimer's. Thank you, and we'll see you on November 2nd. Thank you so much, Allison.